that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a lot of drugs. Yeah. Starting up. Khan. Khan. Yeah, so Shalom, Israel. Shalom. Shalom. Yes, Allah. Yeah. Coming out here through the Spirit, power, grace, and blessings. Adawan, Yahab, Bashim, El Shai. He's going to preach the gospel, the good news, unto our people, the Hebrew Israelites. Right. All right, but first and foremost, as always, we're going to face the East here and give all honor, glory, and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Let's give honor, salutations unto the honors of the elder apostles, the elder bishops, sincere brethren who are laboring in this work, in this truth, in the names of Yahweh, Bashim, El Shai, making your bodies a living sacrifice, a burnt offering. All right, into the names of Yahweh Shimel Shai, preaching across the four corners of the earth, right? So peace and salutation to the hopeful elect, the house of David, right, the tabernacle of David, consisting of 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Haitians, West Indians, and Israelite foreigners that are scattered abroad, those who derived from the seed line of our forefather Jacob through Abraham and Isaac. You make up the seed line of our forefather Jacob, right? That is the 12 tribes of Israel. So I don't want to decide, Lord's will, we continue to seek repentance and salvation in these latter days. And uh, keep fighting the good fight of faith. That's right. 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 All, All right. right. So shalom, shalom unto you, sincere brothers. believers. Shalom, shalom to you, shalom brother. Tuning in. I, I All right. So shalom, shalom. Y'all about to see no shabbat All right. Slide. Let me let me back this up a little bit. Get, get the, make sure I get the brother Ashraf here. That's right. That's right. Shalom, 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 That's right, man. Hey, now you 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 been here too, man. That's right. That's right. So let's go ahead and start off. If one of you brothers wants to start the top of Psalm 62. Folks, y'all bring on that loud and proud, baby, loud and proud. Let's get it. The book of Psalms, chapter 62, and verse 1. Truly, my soul waiteth upon Yahweh, from him cometh my salvation. All right, waiting on the Heavenly Father, right? That's waiting right. in truth and sincerity, calling on the names, repenting, right? What does the word repent mean? To return, yep. to come back to, right? The lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? As our Lord and Savior spoke of, Hamashiach Yahweh who the world ignorantly and unwittingly, unknowingly refers to as Jesus the Christ, spoke of, right? Saying, I am but, but sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. right. Right? So again, right? So the Heavenly Father, that's what we wait on, right? The salvation of our one, Yahweh Bashim Shai, coming from His right hand, our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Right? And we're waiting, right? It's a, we have to hasten the day, yet we patiently endure. Right? We pray for fewer days, as the scriptures say to do, yet we know that biblical prophecy must be fulfilled in its entirety. That's right. right? And we're living in these end times. Got a precept real quick, brother? God, bring it in. Second, Second Peter chapter 3, verse 12. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and all the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Woo! That's right, man. So all the elements shall melt with fervent heat, right? Especially here in Babylon, America, okay? Which are be destroyed, as the scriptures say, right? Two-thirds of our people, pursuant to Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8, will perish here in Babylon, America, right? But what are we out here for? For the remnant, for the elect, for those who will repent, will return, and take heed to this word, right? We'll take heed mean to listen, to abide thereby, right? That we may show our obedience and our fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because that is the instruction of wisdom. That is the beginning of wisdom, is to fear Ha'adwan, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Right, so again, what matter of persons are we ought to be, right? Mm -hmm. We ought to be trying to get right in these latter days, right? Because again, these elements, man, everything here in Babylon, America, poof, that's it, man. I got a quick precept, brother. Let's get it, man, beautiful. Bro. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 13. Never, to, oh, let's start at verse 12. No, let's start at verse 11. See, yeah. and then, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of our God, Yahweh? The heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right, so here we are at the end of the world, right? Here, this last captivity. Right, what matter of persons are we ought to be in all matters of holy conversation, right? So what do we ought to be doing, right? We gotta be repenting, man. Now, don't get us wrong, man, we can't be over-righteous, right? It's okay to have a little sports talk here and there, you know what I mean, quote unquote, shoot the shit. But at the end of the day, man, we gotta be focused on spiritual things, man. We gotta be placing our riches up in the heavens, right? This is not the land of our rest, as is spoken of in the scriptures, right? Okay, this is, a, this is the final captivity, and we're at the very end of this bitter captivity, right? Let me get this in verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heaven and a new earth, wherein do 
well of righteousness. Woo. Yeah, so we live for a new heaven and a new earth where dwell of righteousness, man. Yep. We're sick and tired of this squalor, man. Look at this, man. Look at this world state our people are in, man. Right? Hey, we hasten the day to get the hell out of our captivity. Out from under the hand of our oppressor, the white man, Esau, Edom, and the rest of you goddamn either. That's right, man. How you doing, guys? Hey, hey, guys. hey, man, appreciate you, man. You guys take care. Have a good day. Hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely, right? Yes, sir. I don't know who that is, but a faggot. Oh, there you go. Well, that's, 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 that's Caesar Borgia, the son of a Spanish pope, right? Who's depicted as our Lord and Savior, right? Well, that's not according to true biblical prophecy. That's not according to Revelation chapter 1. That's not according to Jan Daniel. Uh, how did the devil come about? Making that, that's called making everybody crazy. That's called iconoclasm. Right? Job, 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 Job 90, let's get Job 9 and 24. I got you. One of you brothers? Got it. Yeah, Job 9 24. I'm going to grab first match. It's the book of Job, chapter 9. Everybody listen, y'all. Verse 24. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? That's right. So they cover it the faces of the judges thereof. Who were the judges? The Hebrew Israelites. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's covering the faces. Now he's changing. All right. He's altering those pictures, man. Ultimately, again, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, right? And going back to our to Esau of Edom, right? The twin brother of our forefather Jacob, what was his blessing? The blessing of the swords, sword. the fatness of the earth, the dew of heaven, right? Mm -hmm. So again, that was his blessing to rule in, okay the earth for an allotted period of time. Right? That was a lot of period of time, but again, we are coming to the very end of that time, right? And speaking of that iconoclasm, right, really being uh, uh, heightened at its peak, if you will, during the Renaissance period, right? That term Renaissance goes back into rebirth or regeneration, right? right. So that is where, again, many images were altered, right? I wish I had y'all microphone. Right. Real loud. Oh. Hey, man, you, we got uh, get the microphone. What is that? Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah 58 and 1. Yes, sir. So let's also grab First Maccabees chapter 3. And verse, let's go down to, uh, let's start at verse 45. Verse Maccabees 3 and 45. Now Jerusalem lay void as a wilderness. There was none of her children that went in or out. The sanctuary was trodden down. And aliens, which goes into strangers, the other nations, right? In particular, the Greeks. Okay, it says, kept the stronghold. The heathen had the habitation in that place. And joy was taken from Jacob, speaking of the Israelites. And the pipe with the harp ceased. Wherefore the Israelites assembled themselves together and came to Masfah over against Jerusalem. For in Masfah was the place where they prayed aforetime in Israel, right? Where they had prayed aforetime before, right? Where that place was trodden down. They fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads, which is a sign of mourning, right? Okay, which goes into mourning. Now it says right here, it's, and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes. And here's the point. They ripped their clothes and again in a sign of mourning. First Maccabees 3 and 48. And laid open the book of the law, the scriptures, right? It says, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. There you go. Right. There it is right there. So that's, that's a big lie. That's, that's right. right brother. Explain how the Catholic faith got all the power and still became a homosexual factor. Yes, right. Right. Absolutely. Right. Not only that, but you know, not only sodomy, right? But also what? Child molestation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all the cases, wow. all the cases oh, covered up. Right. And, and they're doing so each forth. other too. Yep. Yep. Talking about they want to please that guy. Yeah. They please that yeah. guy. Yeah. You know? Please that guy. Yeah, absolutely. Because he's doing the same thing y'all doing. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know? <laughs> so again, right, and that is the curses also, right? That is yeah. the curses that where our people are under pursuant to Deuteronomy chapter nine. I'm gonna get this precept real quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bring it out, brother. That's it. That's, that's wrong. Right there. Right there. That's blasphemy right there. That's what it is. Hey, hey, no. Jesus ain't white. Okay, okay. Yeah. Woman. That's not Jesus the image of the Lord. That's right. That's right. That's right. You've been brainwashed from your own, yeah, from your own people. He's a brother, brother. Still brother, brother, hear this, hear the scripture right here, brother. Brother, hear the scripture right here, brother. Yeah, that one. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, brother. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter two, verse eight. 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 Chapter two, verse no, so the earth ain't been right. giving it to the hand of the wicked. So that's that right. power that's ruling this earth right now is the so-called white man. Continue right. on. 
have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Two thirds of our people. Go ahead. Sad. Sad. That's the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. Mm -hmm. That's yep. right. That's right, man. So the Heavenly Father is giving them up to those delusions, man. Those strong delusions, right? Wow. right. And they are not meant Infidel to be. Infidel minds. Right? Go. Right. Never to come back again. See you with a hot iron and right. Yeah, they're not until the kingdom, right? In the Man. kingdom is where we will have the law, statutes, and commandments written in our inward parts. We're gonna have new bodies. We're gonna be made perfect mm. in the kingdom to come. That's right. Everlasting immortality. We will never die, That's right, in the kingdom to come. So who's the fake dude? That's right. Those cats, right there. Yeah, they're right. Right. We're the real ones. They're the fake uh, ones. They've been lying. You got some on that. Uh, 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 you got a precept? Yeah, right? I got a precept. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Them, uh, the brothers on the comment board, yeah. they got some precepts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother Tahuan, yeah, yeah, let's get it. Uh, this is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. Uh -huh. It said, What then? Oh. Israel have not attained which he has Woo! seeking for, Woo! but the election has attained it, and the rest were blinded. That's, That's right. right. That's right, bring it out. And according as it is written, God has given the spirit of slumber. That's right. Eyes that they shall not see, and ears that they shall not hear until this day. Even until this very day, our wow. people are still rebelling yeah. and can't understand the truth. Yep. And because it don't wasn't want given to them. And they don't want to understand it. Because right. yep. the truth cuts like a two-edged sword. But guess what? Also, the truth can make you free. Yeah. The truth will set you free, brother. <laughs> right? Hey, but guess what? The truth hurts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, it, hey, the Lord heals you to, uh, with it, too. You see? Mm -hmm. You don't hurt that much. And you switch see, over from going, to third. from going to, uh, uh, you know, from being lied to all these many years, to step out of that lie into the truth. That was good. You got more on that, brother? Go ahead. Got team one. Got a precept after that, brother? Yeah. Yeah. It's just on the counterpart. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. okay. Got yeah, it. Yeah, but again, man, the Heavenly Father has given them up to that, right? Okay, the election have obtained it. So this is about a remnant. This is about the elect. This is not about saving the whole nation of Israel. Can't do that. Because this is about a remnant. This is about the elect. This is not about saving the whole nation of Israel. Can't do it. Because absolutely can't do it. cannot do it. That's that's the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and that's the sacrifice that our Lord and Savior have made, right? By, by by paying that price of His blood, right? So again, man, we cannot save ourselves. We cannot right. say we right. cannot save the nation. No, this is about fishing for the elect, hey, and we look for a kingdom like. that can save us, and there was none. Yep. You see, the only one that can save us is the Heavenly Father, the now, only begotten Son. Now, who sold us out? Who mm -hmm. sold the real black Jews, Israelites, and the Hebrews? Who sold us out? Uh, the Hamites, that, the Hamites, and the Edomites. Well, that was just a part of it. They just so, the Hamites and the Edomites. Oh, yeah. Yeah. According to the Book of Psalms, they've formed a confederacy. Together, they've together and they fought it against yeah. the Israelites and they fought it a big lot. Yeah. And, and, and today, that, those yeah. organizations are still called the United Nations. The UN, uh, yeah. Those guys. Those guys. Right. We got that Illuminati. And they run it from people like y'all. Yeah, that's right. Y'all not scared of Illuminati. They're cowards behind money and power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the scripture, brother? Yeah, yeah. We got the scripture, brother? It's the book of Isaiah. It's the book of Isaiah. Chapter 6, verse 9, yeah. verse 8. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Uh -oh. Then said, I, here am I, send me. Uh -oh. Verse 9. Right. And he said, Go and tell these people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of these people fat and make their eyes heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. Verse 11, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Verse 11, then said I, Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. That's right. So going into that curse of David, right? Eyes that they should not see, ears that they should not hear, right? That this word be made a stumbling block unto them, right? So the Heavenly Father has willed it, man, because of what? Our disobedience, right? Because of, there's a, a remnant, the elect that shall be sealed, right? Going back to what the beautiful brother read in Romans, right? Romans 11. So again, this is about the elect and election receiving it. The two-thirds will return through the loins of the elect, right? And this was also emphasized 
through the same way that our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, spoke in parables. Often yeah, spoke in yeah. parables, right? So read, right? The book of uh, St. Matthew, chapter 13, and this is verse... Yeah, we'll start at verse 9. It says, Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Right? It says, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest unto them in parables? Right? Yeah. So why are you speaking unto the people and the masses in, in parables? Right. It says, verse 11, He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. That's right. And that term mysteries goes back into the Greek mysterion, which goes into hidden things. Yeah. Right? Hidden things. Okay? So it says, verse 12, for whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken even that which is that that he hath. Right? So those that have the spirit, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, ultimately, those who are predestined from the foundations of the earth. Why did they really it, kill? Will. Why did they really kill our Lord and Savior? Why did okay. they really kill the real? Did you guys know so that we can go backwards and play it? We can get back to that, right? So. This is a uh, continuing on. Out here. Now continuing on in St. Matthew 13 and 13. Therefore I speak. Uh, therefore speak I to them in parables, because they they see see not, and here they hear not. Neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, Messiah being Isaiah in the Greek, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. Right. And he's still smoking that stuff hey, and burning up they his They see, but they can't perceive. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. It wasn't given to two-thirds of our people. Like he wow. just passed by. Right. Yeah, he, he saw He saw us, but he couldn't perceive what was going on. That's right. He said something else. The, the devil the is backwards back live. Right. That's what he said? He the, said live? Yeah. The, the, yeah. the word devil, devil backwards means live. Means oh, live. Yeah. Right. So, spell <laughs> backwards means live. And continue. You see how they twist it. It's on even. Yeah. And this, that's oh even on God. TV and on the YouTube. And, and, you know, they want everybody to think that devil is your friend. So I'm gonna continue on because that's a yeah. perfect. This yeah. is a perfect segue, right? Yeah. St. Yeah. Matthew 13, 15. For this people's heart is waxed gross, mm -hmm. which means grown dull, mm -hmm. right? Okay, they've grown dull as dishwater, as the old saying goes, right? Mm -hmm. And their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them but blessed are your eyes uh -oh. for they see and your ears for they hear that's right yeah. brother just yeah. brought the scripture out hey that's you that's given to know the mysteries of the kingdom yeah. but unto them it is not given man so we got to count ourselves blessed yeah. through this prayer and prayer you have to retain yeah. this and to have that hope and that faith man mm -hmm. uh, that it's not given to all our people a lot of people's spiritual eye will never be open. That's right. Absolutely. The third eye will never be open. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, you take care. Have a good day. <laughs> Let me get this real quick, brother. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 3. Blesses he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. Yeah, blesses your eyes. Blesses because you read. Oh, yeah, you know, you cleave onto the, the wood with flames of fire. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's.